To develop the CRISPR simulation lab, you'll begin with data preparation using Python. Utilize libraries such as Pandas for data manipulation and BioPython for biological data processing. You can generate synthetic genomic sequences and simulate CRISPR edits using Python scripts. To visualize genomic sequences, use d3.js to create a visual representation where each base is displayed as a colored rectangle. The color can change based on the nucleotide, e.g. green for adenine, red for thymine, blue for cytosine, and yellow for guanine. Okay, so we're developing this uh, new web application. It's around genomics. Yeah, we went through quite a long uh, chat uh, with GPT-4. Uh, Traditionally used for, for, for not for, oh, but then sometimes GPT-4, the, the previous uh, model is uh, actually a bit better in with uh, developing. But so far, so good. So it made something for us. It's actually not very interactive, is it? So we hope to add some interactive aspects to it. So updating the JavaScript. Is this the whole code or? Yeah, it looks like the whole code. We have 37 lines of code, now it's 60, okay. So we have original sequence, edited sequence. We had some explanation. Input your target se sequence and design your guide RNA. Simulate the CRISPR edit and view the results. Okay, how do we actually edit it? And we'll have some science behind it as well. A highlight gene regions and show how edits impact these regions. Add visual indicators for gene regions within the sequences. Okay, so this code we're ready. Yeah, okay, there are no errors at the moment, but uh, how do I actually input my target? sequence and design the guide rna I don't seem to be able to actually select anything and this is what we currently have for javascript i probably integrated the the code uh, somehow incorrectly so probably need to fix it it doesn't give any errors at the moment and here is the HTML code that probably needs to be updated somehow. If you can review and provide your suggestions, that will be good. And again, we have another AI, a GitHub Copilot, that uh, actually does the coding for us. Uh, so if you can work together, that would be great. Okay, we are updating the code. Let's see what was changed. Right, so we have target sequence. Okay, how do I actually? Would be nice if those had some default values. That could be really nice. The JavaScript, JavaScript. Okay, can we have some default values? and an explanation of how this works. Eventually we'll have a video of me using it, using it so that will be explaining uh, in another way. Okay, this is nice actually. This is nice. Enter the target DNA sequence you want to edit in the target sequence field. Enter the guide RNA, gRNA sequence in the gRNA sequence field. This sequence helps the CRISPR system find the target DNA. 2. Simulate Edit. Click the Simulate Edit button to perform the CRISPR edit. The tool will use the gRNA to locate the target sequence and make a cut, simulating an edit. 3. View Results. The original DNA sequence and the edited sequence are displayed side by side. The impact of the edit on specific gene regions is also visualized. Science behind CRISPR. CRISPR technology allows scientists to make precise changes to the DNA of living organisms. It uses a guide RNA, gRNA, to find a specific sequence in the DNA. The Cas9 enzyme, guided by the gRNA, makes a cut at this location, allowing for the addition, removal, or alteration of DNA segments. 
This technology has vast applications in research, medicine, and biotechnology, including gene therapy, agriculture, and disease study. The tool simulates this editing process, providing a visual representation of how specific DNA sequences can be altered using CRISPR. There's a problem that we have the default edit sequence, but the user doesn't actually know what that sequence is. So do we need to edit the, to the front panel? Another question is, do we actually need that button or can we just uh, adjust the original and edited sequence as we edit the text boxes? Target sequence, AGCT TAGCTA. This represents the DNA segment you aim to edit using CRISPR. It's a model sequence for demonstration. GRNA sequence, TAG. This sequence guides the CRISPR system to the exact location in the DNA where edits are intended. It matches a specific part of the target DNA. Edit sequence, TCG. After the CRISPR system makes a cut at the target location, this sequence is used to replace the original sequence at the cut site, demonstrating how a gene could be modified. Output explanation. Upon simulating edit, when you press the simulate edit button, the tool uses the gRNA sequence to find and bind to the corresponding target sequence. It then simulates a cut and replaces the target sequence with the edit sequence. The results are visualized as displayed with color coding to indicate the precise location of the target sequence. Edited sequence shows the new sequence post edit, highlighting how the original has been altered with the new edits in place. The main problem with this application as it is, well, there's a couple. Uh, first of all, it doesn't really explain how CRISPR uh, works. So that would be good if we could do it in a visual interactive uh, mode, like simulating using a CRISPR kit. And what else? Uh, the lines under the original and Edited sequence are not clear what they are. I understand them to be gene 1, gene 2, but then the text is being overlaid by the color boxes. So we need to enhance the, the, the graphics and also make the text within the graphics uh, clearer. What do you reckon? Future improvements for the CRISPR simulation lab. Enhance graphical interface. Interactive animations. Add animations to demonstrate each step of the CRISPR process, including gRNA binding, Cas9 cutting, and DNA editing. Visual enhancements. Improve the design and clarity of gene labels and sequences, perhaps by using more distinct colors, shapes, or animations to highlight changes. Two, interactive explanation modules. Step-by-step -step tutorials. Create guided tutorials that explain the science behind CRISPR using interactive elements. Tool tips and annotations. Add tool tips and clickable annotations to explain complex concepts dynamically. Three, advanced features. Real-world data integration. Allow users to input real genomic data or select from predefined data sets to see how CRISPR could be applied. Simulation of off-target effects. Include features to simulate and visualize potential off-target effects and their implications. Four, user experience enhancements responsive design. Ensure the application works seamlessly across different devices and screen sizes. User feedback. Add sections where users can provide feedback or ask questions, possibly integrating a chat feature for real-time support. Five, educational resources. In-depth articles and videos. Integrate links to educational articles, videos, and other resources for users who want to learn more. Quizzes and interactive assessments. Include quizzes or assessments to test user understanding and reinforce learning. Example plan for graphical improvements. 1. DNA sequence animation. Step 1. Show the DNA sequence and highlight the gRNA binding process. Step 2. Animate the Cas9 enzyme cutting the DNA at the target site. Step 3. Display the integration of the edit sequence into the DNA. 2. Enhanced visualization layout. Gene regions. Use clear and distinct visual markers for different genes. 
Dynamic updates ensure that all visualizations update in real time as users modify the input sequences. Legend and annotations. Add a legend to explain the color coding and annotations to provide context for each step. Implementation steps. One, design phase. Create detailed mockups for the new graphical elements and animations. Plan the user flow for interactive explanations and tutorials. Two, development phase. Implement the enhanced graphical interface using advanced D3JS features or other suitable libraries. Develop the interactive explanation modules with step-by-step -step animations and tooltips. Three, testing and feedback. Conduct user testing to gather feedback on the new features and improvements. Iterate on the design and functionality based on user feedback to ensure the tool is both educational and user-friendly. By focusing on these improvements, the CRISPR Simulation Lab can become a more comprehensive and engaging educational tool, helping users understand the complexities of CRISPR technology through an interactive and visually appealing interface. And the bot is getting stuck in some sort of loop. Yeah, the robot is hallucinating a bit. It's not great, but it's working more or less okay. would like to... Uh, add some animation to so when the page loads the gene letters are added one by one so in other words all the inputs the, the current default values are added one letter at a time the output is adjusted on the fly CRISPR Simulation Lab interface and scripts are well developed, but to add the dynamic animation of inputting the default values one letter at a time, I'll provide a detailed implementation for this effect. This can create a more engaging user experience and visualize the sequence typing dynamically as it would occur during the input phase. Implementing sequential input animation. To simulate the effect of typing each letter of the default sequences one by one, you can utilize JavaScript with a slight modification to the approach previously discussed. Here's how to implement it. Hashtag JavaScript. You will modify the existing script to include a function that types out each default value letter by letter in the respective input fields. After typing each letter, the function will also trigger an update to the visualization, making the input feel interactive and dynamic. Being better, you know, have the text being entered as you load the page or all the sequences and then it's showing the output with the original and edited sequence meant to be tooltips explaining what each element is yeah don't particularly like how it works i like the dynamic aspect of it yeah we also probably don't need to check spelling for genetic sequences this values look like this when loading the page before the letters start uh, getting animated and entered in entered into the text box so once you click the box it should go empty again it was already cleared in the html okay a couple of things so it's uh, working okay now. Can we display the original and edited sequence uh, being empty, like in the image provided, while the text boxes are being filled out with the animation? Uh, are there any issues with the code? There's one little thing that to begin with, the original and edited sequences are not visible. They are only visible after a delay. Okay, we have something working. So it's typing in a sequence. It's a CRISPR simulation. There's a few annoying things that uh, while it's being typed in automatically, the sequence is not being displayed. So we're trying to fix that this again this is not working as well stop being updated Can you generate all the prompts required to generate this code from scratch 
To generate the code for the CRISPR simulation lab from scratch, I'll break down the tasks into several clear prompts that guide the creation of each part of the application. This approach will ensure a comprehensive and structured development process. Prompt 1, Project Setup and Basic HTML Structure. Objective, set up the basic HTML structure for the CRISPR simulation lab. Plain text, create an HTML file file for a CRISPR simulation lab. The file should include a basic structure with a header titled CRISPR simulation lab and three input fields labeled target sequence, gRNA sequence, and edit sequence. Also, prepare placeholders for displaying the original and edited DNA sequences visually. Two, styling with CSS. Objective, write CSS to style the CRISPR simulation lab interface. Plain text, design a CSS style sheet for the CRISPR simulation lab. The style should include formatting for text inputs to be clear and accessible. Style headers with bold and larger text. Ensure that the visualization area is distinct and large enough to display sequence information clearly. Prompt three, JavaScript initialization. Objective, initialize the web page with default values and empty inputs. Plain text, write a JavaScript function that initializes the input fields, target sequence, gRNA sequence, edit sequence with default genetic sequences, but starts with them visually empty. Include a mechanism to start populating these fields with the default values animatedly, simulating typing after a short delay upon page load. Prompt four, Dynamic SVG Visualization. Objective, implement dynamic SVG visualization for DNA sequences. Plain text, develop a JavaScript function that creates an SVG element to visualize DNA sequences. This function should dynamically generate colored rectangles for each base in the sequence, with different colors representing different nucleotides, A, T, C, G. The visualization should update in real time as users type or modify the DUT sequences in the input fields. Prompt five, sequence typing animation. Objective, implement a typing animation for input fields. Plain text, implement a JavaScript function to simulate the typing of default sequences into the target sequence, gRNA sequence, and edit sequence input fields. This function should visually type each character into the fields one by one on page load, updating the sequence visualization in real time as each character is added. Prompt six, Event handling and real-time updates. Objective, set up event handlers to update visualizations dynamically. Plain text, write JavaScript to add event lists to the input fields that trigger updates in the sequence visualization every time the user modifies any of the input values. Ensure the visual representation of the sequences is adjusted immediately to reflect changes. Prompt seven, sequence editing logic. Objective, Implement the logic to simulate sequence editing using CRISPR technology. Plain text, develop a JavaScript function simulate edit that calculates the edited DNA sequence based on the target sequence, the gRNA sequence, and the edit sequence provided. This function should find the target sequence segment that matches the gRNA, replace it with the edit sequence, and update the visual representation accordingly. Prompt eight, user interaction enhancements. Objective. Enhance user interaction with additional features. Plain text, enhance the application by implementing tooltips or additional information that appears when the user hovers over different parts of the DNA sequence in the visualization. Provide contextual information or explanations about what each part of the sequence represents and how edits affect the sequence. Prompt nine, advanced visualization features. Objective, implement advanced features for the visualization. Plain text, Create advanced visualization features, such as highlighting potential CRISPR off-target effects or visualizing the impact of edits on gene function. Consider adding interactive elements that allow users to manually select different regions of the DNA sequence for editing and see potential outcomes. It's doing something useful, but uh, obviously needs more work. We added now one of those. One problem that uh, I noticed that it will replace the first one, but not the second one. I need color coding for this. Uh, sorry, it's, it is color coded. I need the letters to be displayed on top of those squares. I wonder if the board uh, can determine what's wrong with this image. Can you determine? It did replace the 
a first gRNA, the TAWG, but not the second one, which is a bit unfortunate. And there's probably many other bugs in it as well that we will have to sort out. Multiple gRNA matches is not being addressed. Handling edge cases. <laughs> well, we could. Do you think it's a good idea to just place the letters on top of the colored boxes? Multiple gRNA matches. The target sequence contains two occurrences of the gRNA sequence, tag. However, it seems like the visualization might only be considering the first occurrence for the simulation of the edit. This could be misleading if the intent is to simulate the CRISPR mechanism realistically, where all potential target sites might be edited. It's important to decide and clarify whether the simulation should handle multiple matches or just the first one. 2. Visualization of the edit. In the edited sequence, it appears that only the first occurrence of tag is replaced with TCGG. If the simulation is intended to reflect all possible CRISPR edits, then all instances where tag occurs should potentially be replaced. If the tool is meant to only edit the first occurrence, this should be clearly stated in the tool's description to avoid confusion. 3. Color coding. The color coding for bases is a good visual strategy. Ensure that the color assignments, e.g. red for T, green for A, are consistent and clearly explained somewhere in the user interface or documentation for new users to understand easily. Mata 4. Interface clarity. The labels are clear but ensuring that users understand the relationship between the input sequences and the visual output could be enhanced. For instance, highlighting the edited regions in the visualization differently could help indicate what has changed more clearly. 5. Feedback on action. If the tool is intended for educational purposes, providing immediate feedback or a detailed explanation of what occurs during the editing, e.g., via tooltips or a side panel, would enhance learning. Number six, handling edge cases. Consider how the tool should behave if the gRNA sequence does not match at all. Should there be a visual indication of no action taken? To address these issues, you may want to refine the backend logic to handle multiple matches if needed and update the UI to make the process and results as clear as possible for the users. Placing the nucleotide letters directly on top of the colored boxes in your CRISPR simulation lab can be a beneficial approach for several reasons. Advantages. One, enhanced clarity and learning. Displaying letters such as A, T, and G on the corresponding colored boxes makes it immediately clear what each color represents. This is particularly useful for educational purposes, helping users quickly learn and recognize the nucleotide sequences. Two, improved accessibility. For users who may have difficulty distinguishing colors, having the letters visible ensures that the tool is more accessible. Three, detailed visualization. With the letters on the boxes, users can better follow along with the changes made during the CRISPR editing process. It becomes easier to see exactly which nucleotides are being edited, removed, or replaced. Considerations, design and aesthetics. Ensure that the text color contrasts sufficiently with the background color for readability. For example, using white or black text on brightly colored backgrounds can make the letters stand out clearly. Complexity in visualization. If the sequence is very long, the visualization might become cluttered. It would be beneficial to provide a zoom or scroll functionality to handle larger sequences effectively. I want to also able to handle multiple matches. Like in this case, so that's T A G G is being replaced with T C G G. Should have done it the second time around as well. Great choice. Handling multiple matches for the gRNA sequence within the target sequence will provide a more realistic simulation of the CRISPR process, especially since in biological contexts, CRISPR can potentially target multiple regions if they match the guide RNA. How it works. Loop through matches. The function iteratively searches for the gRNA sequence in the remaining part of the target sequence. Each time it finds a match, it appends the part of the sequence before the gRNA and the edit sequence to the result. Update remaining sequence. After processing a match, the remaining part of the sequence, after the gRNA, becomes the new sequence to search through. Handle non-matching end. 
If the sequence portion after the last match does not contain the gRNA, it's appended to the result to complete the edited sequence. Updating visualization. Ensure your visualization function can handle the display of sequences where multiple edits might have occurred. This might involve ensuring that each segment is correctly colored and that the interface can dynamically adjust to potentially longer sequences resulting from multiple edits. Example visualization adjustment. If you're using colored boxes or similar visual elements to represent nucleotides, consider dynamically recalculating the positioning of each element based on sequence modifications, ensuring that all changes are represented accurately in the visualization. Handling multiple gRNA matches will make your CRISPR simulation tool more robust and educational, offering users deeper insights into the complexities of gene editing with CRISPR-Cas systems. Yes, it's working pretty well at the moment. So this is what happens when you start the page. It's doing this uh, sample. It's finding this D-A-double-G twice and changing it to the edit sequence. In this example, the tag locates the target sequence and makes a cut. The edit sequence replaces the target sequence. Right? So it should be replaced by TCGG, TCGG. That's correct. If you haven't checked the bindingcaves.com, please go do so. You will be supporting the project this way. And, uh, all the new tools that we develop eventually appear on this website. So go check them out. And I'll see you next time. Bye.